Alright, so round two. Uh, win the die roll again. Running good. Um, this hand's okay. Uh, not mulliganing it, but we could use some more action. Uh, turn three Huntmaster's pretty sweet, though, so... Can't complain about turn three hunt master, but hoping to draw like Restoration Angel would be like pretty awesome draw, you know, something like that. That's fine. Uh, forced Abundant Growth doesn't really tell us anything about what he's playing. Like, there's so many decks that can begin with that hand, so... Strong Root Geist. Again, there are a number of decks that can begin with this, but it's he's probably just playing, like, straight red-green. Second Hunt Master, I can get behind that. Uh, if he attacks with Strangle Root Geist, again, we'll block with this wolf. Uh, it sets up like a bonfire for two. Or us passing a turn and flipping Hunt Master to kill it. <clears throat> so, yeah. possible that I'm not always sure if like doing things like that is correct but so black so he's playing Jund he's either playing Jund or he's playing like there's this kind of green splash black deck yeah there's like a a nearly mono green splash black deck he might be playing that normally I wouldn't play like a planes or a cliff top because we don't want to like give away the fact that we're playing white but uh, since we have Gabney Township, we want to play this. So if we draw a Township, we can just jam it and be able to activate it immediately without having to tap the Pilgrim. All right, Huntmaster number two. This time I'm just going to take it because he probably has another Tragic Slip. And we can flip our Huntmaster to kill a Strangle Geist if we need to. So, Or Bonfire for two. Borderland Ranger. Alright, discover if he's Jund or if he is... Okay, he's just playing a Black Green. Since he's just playing Black Green, we don't have to worry about Bonfire. We can play the second Pilgrim. Uh, we're going to Bonfire for two. We don't have to worry about him playing Bonfire, I should say. <clears throat> the reason we're Bonfiring for two instead of just like flipping our Huntmaster is if he has Silverheart. We don't want to like. We don't want to let him bond with the Silverheart, so. He probably has Wolfier Avenger. Oh. I still think he might have Wolfier Avenger since he was like hesitating on playing this Borderland Ranger. Ooh, Restoration Angel. Now that is a nutty draw. That is a really good draw. Um. I don't want to send these pilgrims and this wolf just to get more damage in. 
because honestly don't I mean like the, these programs are pretty much doing nothing and like if he blocks a program and takes three like this program basically like got in for three points so uh, yeah we'll go ahead and throw our programs away here he might have tragic slip if he has another tragic slip that's fine because we can angel or hunt <clears throat> so the the plan here is like he blocks something takes damage we pass flip our hunt master kill something so he is choosing to block a pilgrim take three now we get to flip our hunt master and I'm not sure exactly what we want to kill here I'm gonna say the borderland ranger this could end up being a mistake because he gets an extra mana out of that, but this is a little bit bigger. So if he does have Silverheart to bond, a uh, Restoration Angel can like break the bond up. So Revenge of the Hunted. That sucks. So this becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. All creatures have to block it. So he's going to attack with this. We're going to block it. And then um, before damage, angel it. So we'll take the full amount of trample damage. We'll take the full 7 trample. Okay, he's just going to concede to that. The way that works, though, is if we blink our guy like that, we take the full trample damage because like, there's no longer anything to deal damage to outside of just us. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Like, we're at 19 life. We can afford to take some damage. Pillar comes in. He has Strangle Root Geists and um, Avacyn's Pilgrims. And uh, he might have, like, Fight Bear, Open Wall Tracker. We definitely want Pillar. I think the deck plays Predator Ooze. But I'm not 100%. So, uh, Brimstone, so Brimstone Volley is an interesting card here, because he has, uh, whatever that guy's called, Wolfier Avenger, the 3-3 three, three Flash guy. So, like, having this card's a good way to deal with that, but overall, I think this card's a little weak against him. Devil's Play's also a little weak against him. I think we want Hellrider. Hellrider just does a lot of damage. Uh, this matchup kind of just it becomes a race. So, I think we want Hellriders. It's possible we want Garrick over Hellrider, to be honest, but, um, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I guess he doesn't really have a good way to kill Garrick. Yeah, let's try Garrick over Hellrider. Don't want to cut Hellmaster. Let's try this setup. Um, <clears throat> this matchup is some. I've only played this matchup a few times. Not entirely sure. We definitely want bonfires maximized, um, and we want some number of conscripts because I think he has predator ooze. Ugh. All right, this this hand's close. If we draw a green mana, this hand is awesome, and I, I actually think we're gonna we're gonna keep this hand. It, it's very sketchy, but like. If we draw a green mana source, this hand is amazing. So, I think it's worth like the risk. <clears throat> and and I'm wondering if the stack maybe doesn't want like another green mana source in it because I, I get hands like this a lot and it's not great. <laughs> Still could really use 
some green mana. Forest off the top would be insane. Wow, ask and you shall receive. Uh, sometimes you just run really well. What can you? What can I say? Oh man, so now do we Pilgrim or do we Borderland Ranger? I think we Borderland for for another forest. Could be wrong. Doesn't attack. Interesting. That surprises me, the lack of attack there. To me, that almost suggests um, that he has Wolf Ear Silverheart. Otherwise, he'd be like fine trading his guy. Uh, we're not. We're not attacking ourselves. So if he plays like. Uh, yeah. Also, he's telegraphing Wolfier Avenger by not, like, doing anything. So if he plays, like, a Wolfier Silverheart here, um, which is likely, yeah. So he plays a Silverheart. See what he bonds with. This. Alright, so we block here and we're gonna angel our guy. This keeps us from taking any damage. We get another um, trigger out of Borderland Ranger. Huntmaster is good. Okay, so uh, we definitely have options at this point. We have a number of options. Uh, so the first option is Huntmaster plus Avacyn's Pilgrim. Just gives us some ground chumpers. Uh, the other option is Conscripts, which is what I think we're actually going to play. Conscripts lets us steal Silverheart, uh, breaks up this Soul Bond. We get to hit him for a lot of damage. Um, we're going to attack with everything except Borderland Ranger. Because, like, Ranger trades with Strangroot Geist, which we don't want. And, uh. And we want to hold a blocker back, so if he soul bombs, we're not, like, screwed. Wow, third Strangroot Geist. That's, that's, man, that's brutal. He's had a pretty sick draw this game. I love that he's holding this guy back. Gives us a lot more, like, bonfire. Wow. Uh, I really wish we could have cast it there, but if we had one more mana, we would have cast it, because we could have killed the Strangroot Geist, Wolfier Silverheart, and the Strangroot Geist. But as it stands, we couldn't cast it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, Abundant Growth. Cliff Top. Uh, since we're not going to be activating Gabony Township this turn, there's no reason to play it. Like, no reason to just tip our opponent that we have it. We will play Huntmaster. We 
will play Addison's program. So <clears throat> we have some options. We have like a good number of chump blockers here. So I, I don't like we can trade I don't want to trade our zealous conscripts for a strong root guys. That seems like mediocre. Um so I think we just attack with Restoration Angel. I like I could hold Restoration Angel back too, but like it just seems pointless. <laughs> He's saying miracle for the win. Uh, if he miracles or revenge of the hunted, we just lose. So, and it did not. He probably has one in hand. So if he hits a, a land, he probably just casts one and we lose. Nope. Fun at growth. Oh god. So he has to be careful about what he attacks with here too. Since we can bonfire for three, we actually have we're actually representing a good bit of damage. Three, four, five. So he draws the lands. Now he has Garrick. Seems Garrick like to me. A second silver heart. Wow. Wow, that's pretty brutal. Jeez. That is brutal. So we have to think about how we're planning on winning this game. There's, I mean, one way we can win is if we Miracle of Bonfire, we'll just kill him. So, um, you know, that's always an option. Three, uh, so just plan to Miracle of Bonfire, but that's easier said than done. Uh, so let's assume we're not Miracling a Bonfire next turn. We have to think of how we have to be able to block enough damage. So uh, we're not really we're not going to kill any of these. The only thing we can kill is like this, but that's just so bad because it comes back. Um. So we probably just throw. Our two eight. probably just throw our two weakest away. Guess it's this and this. It's possible we want to throw Huntmaster away instead of Addison's Pilgrim. Ugh, so tough. Guess we'll we'll block like this. Wow, we did miracle bonfire. You know, I don't actually think this wins though. So this is five damage. 
puts him at six. This puts him at three. Man, it doesn't win. I don't think it wins because it kills this and it kills this and it kills this. Uh, I think I just have to cast it. We do kill at least one Silverheart with it, though. Maybe both. I have to think about it. So we, we definitely cast it. And now he gets... We may kill his board here. Let's think. He has to block Conscripts, but he can let Huntmaster through. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I guess we can attack with just conscripts. No, we can't. Yeah, if this was a forest, we could cast Pilgrim. So I guess if we had played this last turn instead of... No, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, so he, he can... If we attack with both, he can like put Silverheart on this, this on this, and the Silverheart doesn't die. If we attack with just the conscripts... Yeah. Unfortunately, we do not have an attack here, but uh, the good news is if he has nothing, I think we can win next turn. Oh, wow, he went straight to combat. Good news. So, uh, put this here, put this here, put this here. Uh, we can bonfire for three plus attack for three, so... Sorry I'm taking so long in this game. It's just a lot of decisions. And uh, I'm not the fastest player in the world. So hopefully he doesn't have a removal spell to finish this off. Doesn't. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll go for it. We have no other options here. And... Uh, Bonfire for three. Uh, uh. My opponent is uh, unhappy about my two bonfires. Uh, I, I hate when when people like give me things like this, so I have to inform them that they're incorrect. <laughs> you know. Okay, at least he's he's being reasonable. Okay, he was. Uh... Okay, yeah, he was fine about it. So. Sometimes people like people love to complain when you you beat them, and they'll be a dick about it, but he was actually fine, so, uh, no, no issues there, and I'm very surprised we won this game, uh, looks pretty bad for us, but, uh, this, the Naya deck's pretty scrappy, it, it can get some wins that it doesn't maybe deserve, so, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that, I, I feel like this was a really good game, just, uh, there are a lot of decisions, a lot of interactions, so, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll be back for the third round.